You know me, yeah, and you lot know me. I don't care about anyone's race. Yeah, I don't care if you're white or you're black or nothing like that, right? A crime is a crime, whatever, isn't it? Yeah. But who remembers, right? Maybe before lockdown, definitely, yeah. This Jamaican guy got extradited, yeah. They 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 dipped him, yeah, they deported him back to Jamaica, yeah, because he committed a crime about 15 years ago when he was a kid. Yeah, he robbed someone, yeah. And all of a sudden they want to send him back to Jamaica, in it, yeah. Now they did that to Cash Tastic, yeah. Cash was a rapper, yeah, from Peckham. He done something, whatever, in it, yeah, and he got deported, in it. Now I think he's back in the UK because he done an interview with ZZ Mills, yeah. But anyway, they apparently they deported Cash, yeah, Cash Tastic's a young rapper. He's like a year younger than me or whatever, in it, yeah, and one black youth, yeah, Jamaican youth. They deported him back to Jamaica because he's Jamaican born, whatever in it. He committed a crime, whatever he done, whatever in it. We don't need to say what he done, yeah. And they deported him back to Jamaica, in it, yeah. Yeah, that's cool, isn't it? Yeah, but bro, yeah, you use the same everyone must get the same punishment. So the black brother, the Jamaican one, right, who recently got deported back to Jamaica. Yeah, in a robbery 15 years ago, isn't it? Yeah. Now a robbery is a bad crime, but it's not a serious crime and it's not as serious as certain other crimes yeah now you don't listen to me properly yeah they want to talk about sending man back to jamaica who commit crimes and whatever isn't it? that's cool yeah but what if a man is from australia or new zealand or wherever he's from yeah remember rolf harris yeah rolf harris got in trouble for them rapes and then yeah touching children and that he never got deported he never got dipped yeah so why is it all right to send a man back to jamaica but it's not all right to send a man back to wherever in it new zealand or australia wherever he's from yeah i don't i don't know if you want to call it racism because it might be to do with him being a celebrity i don't know in it yeah i ain't even trying to fling the race card or everything i'm just saying yeah they better they need to deal with everyone fairly yeah that is not fair that a man gets sent back to jamaica for a robbery right robbery yeah you can always get another phone yeah you can always get more money you can always get another car yeah but a man sexually assaulting you a man raping you, a man taking advantage of you that's psychological damage yeah that's worse than that's worse than any punching any beating anyone can give you yeah you've damaged someone psychologically yeah but remember so you're saying yeah if you're foreign you more likely get sent back yeah 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 i get that yeah but remember, Rolf Harris, let me check where he's from, innit? Yeah, he's not from, he's not born, I don't think he's born in England. In, in England. They should have sent him back as well. Yeah. Remember, fucking sexual assault, but that's, that's a serious crime, you know? That ain't nothing to... As we were saying yesterday in a live stream yesterday, it? Yeah, this country's laws and how they deal with crimes is completely backwards. Yeah? A man will get fucking a year in prison, right? For raping a woman, sexually assaulting a woman, sexually assaulting a child. But if a man pulls out a knife and robs someone, doesn't stab them, doesn't use a knife on them, causes them no injury, but uses it to scare them, five years in prison. What? What? The psychological damage that you will get from being sexually assaulted is going to be far worse than someone pulling out a knife on you. Any day. I'm from Edna. I'm used to seeing man flick out knife and shit in it, so I nothing to me. Yeah. But even if it's someone who's not used to, yeah, never come across that kind of shit in their life, or whatever. Any, I'm telling you, you know, a man sexually, no one, no one takes their life after someone pulls out a knife on them and robs them. But people take their life after they've been sexually assaulted because of the psychological damage. Yeah? So, yeah, all right, boom. So my man said he's from Australia. Yeah, they should have deported him back to Australia, but I don't know if it's got something to do with the Commonwealth or whatever in it, yeah? Because obviously, yeah, Australia's part of the Commonwealth or whatever in it, yeah? But still, I mean, if you ain't a national here, yeah, you commit any crime, send your blood clot back to where you come from. Yeah, go back a foreign, yeah? Yeah? What Nadia said, sexual assault scars scar people for life. Yeah, it does. It does. You need, people, people don't get over them things, eh? 
unless they're able to kind of like detach themselves from it, which the average person is not. So they can never even try and, yeah, yeah. How, how, how are you honestly giving a man a year in prison for rape or touching a child or something like that? But a man who just robbed someone because he needs money, yeah. So certainly these crimes, you need to look at the intent as well. Like what gain are you getting? From, well, we know what gain they're getting from sexual assault, but at least a man's out. We're not justifying people robbing anyone here, innit? But a man's out trying to eat. Yeah, you know, if a man's going out robbing people, you know he's quite desperate, innit? Yeah, a man's trying to eat. If you want to fucking send someone to prison for five years who's trying to eat against sending someone to prison for a year who's just trying to be a pervert? That don't make no sense to me, man. Sexual assault, that crime is far worse than a robbery. Yeah, but a man who does a robbery will get a worse sentence than, than a man who does sexual assault. Man looking at this and looking at that. Yeah, so man said Rolf Harris is Australian, yeah. So, yeah, they should have sent him back to Australia, yeah? If they want to send a Jamaican man back to Jamaica, that's cool, yeah? We don't care, about, I don't care about colour here, innit, yeah? I'm just looking at facts, innit, yeah? Send the Australian man back to Australia. 